So in this video, we're going to go through a slightly harder example to the one that we had in the previous video, um, just slightly harder coordinates to work with. So we've got the three coordinates. Uh, we know that they lie on a circle, and I want to find the center and radius of this circle. I want to be able to write down its equation. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair up these coordinates, find the perpendicular bisectors, where they intersect, and then with that coordinate, then be able to find the distance between that coordinate and any of those three coordinates to find the radius. So let's start off by pairing these up. So if I start with A, B, I need to find the midpoint of these coordinates. So that's the average of minus 2 and 2, and the average of 1 and 5. So we get minus 2 plus 2 is 0, 0 over 2 is just 0, and 1 plus 5 is 6, over 2 is 3, so 0, 3. Then the gradient between these two points is the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the x-coordinates. So we get minus 4 over minus 4, which is just 1. So the equation of the perpendicular bisector will be y minus 3 is equal to m, so the negative reciprocal of this number, so minus 1, x take away 0 in this case. So therefore, y will be equal to minus x plus 3. So that's the equation of the first perpendicular bisector. Okay. Right, let's try bc now. So first of all, midpoint. So we're going to have the average of the y coordinates and the average of the y, oh, sorry, the average of the x coordinates and the average of the y coordinates. So we've got 2 take away 10 is minus 8, divided by 2 is minus 4. 5 plus 17 is 22, divided by 2 is 11. So then the gradient of this uh, chord is the difference in the y coordinates, 5 take away 17 over 2 take away minus 10. So we'll have minus 12 in the numerator and 12 in the denominator, so minus 1. So therefore, we're going to have uh, the perpendicular bisector as y minus 11 is equal to the negative reciprocal minus 1, which is just 1, a lot of x plus 4. So y equals x plus 4 plus 11, so 15. Okay, and so that is the second perpendicular bisector. So I need to find where they intersect. So I put one equal to the other. Add the x to both sides, so 2x. 15 subtracted from both sides is minus 12. And so x will be minus 6. So substituting that in to one of the two equations, minus 6 plus 15 is 9. So we know that the centre of this circle is at minus 6, 9. And now I just need to find the radius. So I need to find the distance between that centre and any of those three points. So minus 2, 1 is to the right and further down than that centre. So if I draw it like this, so there's uh, minus 2, 1. Here's minus 6, 9. So we've got from minus 6 to minus 2, that's a distance of 4. From 1 to 9, that's a distance of 8. So here we've got uh, the square root of 8 squared plus 4 squared, so the square root of 80. And that means that the equation of the circle is x plus 6 squared plus y minus 9 squared is equal to r squared, so 80. OK? So that is uh, how you can work out the equation of a circle given three points that lie on it.